With the new MacBook Air, we wanted to design and build an incredibly mobile product, but without compromise. Everything that we've learned designing really powerful notebooks and everything that we've learned designing really small mobile devices culminates in the new MacBook Air. The MacBook Air would probably not exist as it does now if it weren't for the things we've learned with iPad. We've learned how much customers care about this multi-touch user experience. We know they care about all-day battery life. It took a lot of great ideas. And they informed us on in where we should go with our notebooks. Sometimes when you walk away from an old technology, it can lead to a breakthrough. And that's what we've done with MacBook Air. We've designed completely around flash storage. That's allowed us to make a product that's instant on, longer battery life, silent operation, much smaller, and thinner, and lighter. All that happened by having the courage to say we're going to base this product around the flash technology. The key thing we've learned is touch is extremely important how we interact with our software. If we had tried to build it into the display, we discovered that it's not in an optimal position. You don't feel comfortable holding your hand up in the air and trying to multi-touch. The best way to deliver multi-touch in the notebook is through the trackpad. So in the MacBook Air, we've built in a large glass multi-touch trackpad right below the full-size keyboard. We've done all this in an amazingly thin and light design. The 13-inch MacBook Air weighs just 2.9 pounds and measures 0.68 inches at the rear. Then it tapers to just 0.11 inches at the front. And for the first time ever, we've made an 11-inch MacBook Air. It's just as thin, but it only weighs 2.3 pounds. These are the thinnest and lightest notebooks we've ever made. And while it is really challenging designing something that's this thin and this light, it's really, really hard to design something that's also strong and robust and this precise. Creating structure and features from a single piece of aluminium reduces multiple parts to a single one that is not only very thin, very light, but has incredible structural integrity. There is something about how truly simple the parts are, inside and out, that makes this, I think, one of the most beautiful products we've ever designed. One of the key design decisions that we made early on with the new MacBook Air was to use flash for storage. We do flash storage differently than other computer manufacturers. Rather than package it inside a housing, we place the chips directly on the logic board so we can be much more efficient about the way we use space. This gives us a lot more room for batteries. So what you get is up to five hours of battery life on the 11-inch product and up to seven hours on the 13-inch product. And you get up to 30 days of standby time. One of the things we're proud of with the new MacBook Air is it's a real MacBook in every sense of the word. It has a FaceTime camera, a dual-core processor, and fast graphics to drive ultra-high resolution displays. And when you connect it to a 27-inch cinema display, you can power almost 4 million pixels of image. We custom design every part of this product, from the enclosures to the use of flash, the design of our main logic boards, the stereo speakers. Every single part is designed to fit in a certain way in a certain place in the product and give us a really tightly integrated kind of design. We set a really high bar for what people should expect a Mac to be. You get incredible displays, you get fast CPUs, you get great flash storage, you get great graphic performance, all in something that's really small and light and really affordable. It starts at just $9.99. I mean, that's a breakthrough to take our latest technology this incredible quality of the aluminum and the glass, these super thin designs, all of this amazing value, and it's our most affordable Mac ever. It's really the future of the notebook. I mean, our, our learning just keeps building from one project to the next, to the next. That's absolutely the case here. I mean, years and years of designing such a range of different products 
enables the design of the new MacBook Air.